Good morning and good afternoon to all the children of the kingdom of God, the princess and the prince of the kingdom, and all the friends of TV du Royaume des Cieux, that the peace of God be with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. This is your friend, Pastor Chuck Shal, your brother, who will come to share with you the gospel of the kingdom of God. I do not come in my name. I come in the name of Jesus and under the power of the Holy Spirit to share the message of this end time. So we call or the rise the seventh millennium or the seventh dispensation. Beloved in Jesus Christ, welcome to our channel. Welcome to TV du Royaume des Cieux channel. So we are a family, a wonderful family, a beautiful family, a great family, the family of the kingdom of God, the family of the kingdom of Jesus Christ our Lord. I welcome everybody who join for the first time our channel and we invite you to subscribe and keep on watching. God has a great provision for you. God has a great blessing for you from this channel. So that this is the reason why at the beginning I say, I do not come in my name. I come in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Be blessed, brothers and sisters, and let the glory of God cover you, shine upon you, bless you with all kind of blessing of the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. Glory be to God. And then, my beloved, uh, as you know, the word of God has been given in three languages. This is the Hebrew, the first one is Hebrew language, and then Greek language, and Aramean language. So that the word can be justified by the department of justice of God, which is the Trinity. And we taught in French, we published many messages, many studies in French too. And today we are starting with the English language so that we can share the gospel of the kingdom of God to all the children of God all over the world. In any case, so if somebody doesn't speak Creole, he can understand in French. If he doesn't speak French, he can try anyway to understand English and these three languages. And then my brothers and sisters and the Lord Jesus Christ. All the time in our life, we talk about God. We admit it that God is the one who created the universe, is the one who created the, the earth and everything that is in it. So that is a fact. So even though someone doesn't confess Jesus, but he admit that God created everything. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And even though we talk about God, we acknowledge his presence eh, across the nature. We know he is alive. We know he can do everything. Most of the time, when the situation turn around us badly, when we are when we are facing up with difficulties, so we refer to God for comfort. We refer to God for consolation. We refer to God for wisdom. So as we know, everything is preached in our congregation and our churches but the kingdom of God. So we preach every other thing most of the time, but the kingdom of God is preached merely, rarely, the kingdom of God is rarely preached. 
So this teaching was sealed for the end of the time because we are dealing with kingdom. It, there's gonna be a new kingdom which is the kingdom of Jesus Christ our Lord. So that's the reason why it was sealed. This is the reason why it was not yet revealed to us. But the time has come today for you to know the kingdom of God. What is it exactly the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters? The kingdom of God is mysteries and secrets. When I talk about mysteries and secrets, I refer to the spiritual realm. Let's read the Bible and Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. The word of the Lord said, Then God said, Let us make man in our image and our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, whatever your religion, whatever the color of your skin, whatever your country, or the family you are from, God is looking for his image and his likeness. We are from God. He created us into his image and his likeness for his glory and for his honor. And today, we must know that the time is about to finish. We are living in the end time. The time we have is short. We must be hurry because the Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord, will come back to reign over the earth. Amen. If we, we read in Matthew chapter 3, the first one who preached the, the gospel of the kingdom of God is the John the Baptist. He said, repent and be baptized for the kingdom of God is near. Secondly, after the baptisms of Jesus Christ and the river of Jordan, Jesus spent 40 days fasting. And after he started his ministry by repeating the same word in Matthew chapter 4, Jesus said to the people, repent and be baptized. The kingdom of God comes to you. And he sent his disciples with the same word, go and preach to the world. Say that the kingdom of God is near. He sent the 12 disciples. Secondly, he sent 70 disciples to preach the same message, to preach the same word, the same gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of God. And all the Jesus Christ, he reveals the mysteries, the secrets of the kingdom of God. He talk about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God look like a virgin. The kingdom of God is like a man who lost a coin. The king Jesus used many descriptions to introduce us the kingdom of God. 
An introduction to the kingdom of God, first of all, my brothers and sisters, we must know who is God. We must know Jesus Christ. What is the kingdom? And who is the Holy Spirit? This is the teaching of the kingdom of God. Jesus just introduced us the Father, but he didn't explain everything about the Father. To talk about God, first of all, we must know the principles, the rules, the law of the kingdom of God. How does it work? Huh? This is a great mystery. We don't know it yet. We don't know who is the Father. Jesus talked about the Father. He said, we have a Father. We don't know how our Father lives. To talk about God, you have to know that God is seven spirits. These seven spirits form a unity, form a covenant, form a circle, and the universe to control, to rule everything. So when you talk about God, you talk about the seven spirits. Hmm. This is what, what it means when you say God. When you say God, you say seven spirits. My beloved in Jesus Christ, there is no God without the seven spirits. Seven spirits put together to form a system of unity, a system of um, a covenant to rule the world, to rule the universe. So God is a function. God is a position. Pharaoh was the name given to someone who rules over the Egyptians. The, the name is a function. Pharaoh is not really a name of the person who rules as a king, but this is the name given to a position. And the first function of the empire, of the Roman Empire, he is called Caesar. Caesar is not really the name of the person, but it, it is a function. It is a position. And the same with God is a position. God is a function among the seven spirits. He is called God. He is called the spirit of life because he had made everything. He created everything of the universe, everything of the nature of the earth, everything that exists. He created them. Because he created them, he is God. He is the Father. He is the origin. He is the source of everything. He made everything for his glory because he brings life because he is the author of every living thing. My brothers and sisters and the Lord Jesus, many things to share, many mysteries, many secrets to share. But you know, I'm doing my best to make this study in English and French to share with the world. You must know that. This is a lot of sacrifice. I do my best for the translation. You know, it's not easy to speak many languages at the same time. You take any language and you translate another language. It's not so easy. Sometimes it takes a little patience. Okay, sometimes to call out the right word to say. Anyway, the message is shared. I share the message with you. Even though 
the expression is not plainly in the way you probably expect it to be. But anyway, the Holy Ghost will complete my work. The Holy Spirit will, will help you to understand. The Holy Spirit will guide you, will bless you, will help you, because he is the first teacher of the Word of God, the first teacher of the kingdom of heaven, the Holy Spirit. He taught me, and he can teach you too. Stay under the cover of the Holy Spirit, and he will guide you, he will help you. I love you in the name of Jesus. It was a pleasure to share with you this good news of the kingdom of God. First of all, this is an introduction about God. Who is God? Who is God you call your father? Who is God you call the king of kings? Who is God you call the creator of the universe, the creator of every living thing on this ground? Who is God? And now, you know. You know God is seven spirit. You know God is life. You know God is wisdom. You know God is truth. You know God is power and strength. You know God is judgment. You know God is consolation. And you know God is knowledge. The seven spirits of God. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This message is to share. This teaching is to share with the beloved and the Lord Jesus, with your loved ones, with your friends, with your families, with your relatives, so that the kingdom, the message of the kingdom of God shall be preached all over the world as a testimony and then the end will come, as it is written in Matthew chapter 24. I love you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. May your eyes be open. May your understanding be open to understand the word of God, to understand who is God at the end, at this end time. To know your father next time, you will be able to understand God in the case of his fatherhood. You will be able to understand God and the way of his kingdom. When we say king of kings, we will know exactly what does that mean. Today, we sh the word of God, we share with you the function of God, the position of God, who is God. God is seven spirits. Never forget that. God is seven spirits. This is the reason why he is called God. Without the seven spirits, there is no God. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. May God bless you, keep you, and protect you at the seven dispensation in the name of Jesus. Shalom, shalom, shalom. It was your friend and your brother, Pastor Jack Shalom. Yes, this message is to share with your friends.